Hakuna hakuna ma public toilets hakuna ma storage ongo namba attitude Hello guys welcome to yet another episode of Bust Up TV News with me Maggie Magrazi I'm your news reporter and today I'm in the CBD the city center of Harare and we're talking about the installation of cameras in the CBD the mayor has this plan and we want to know is it good for us what do you think granted this is good for one thing mainly the motorists were throwing the road rules out the window maybe if they knew that someone was watching them they'd be more careful but then again we also have so many service delivery issues at the moment the matepi flats are still to be rebuilt the road rules need resurfacing the traffic lights need to be made sure that they're all working street lights we don't have street lights that are working and right now we want to hear what the motorists think what the, the residents of harare they have to say about this yes city council that we saw my camera pesa baba kuti ambo ona chichiri kuitika what do you think ah zvakana kachezvo zvinobatsira <laughs> Yeah, so what do you think about this? But I come out of the priority, I use my cameras, my robots are shan. I have a tanga magazine, my robots, a tanga shandai. Dino Zona Zizin Zaganak. No particular one was not going to drive. A married robot and Vanyanya, robot is ratty green, you couldn't wear side and a match pinda. Saga and Macamir and Gawi Wopo, Tuada, my camera, my robots. Atirambe zvamuda kuita e zvakanaka asi zvakaipa nyika chechayo ka haina ota muda kusa ma robots road chechayo i ine ma poto yakaboka asi muda kuisa ma camera ma street lights ma lines hana kutrewa e road muda kuisa ma camera changa ma ma road mozesa ma camera ma poto ngavharwa apo pakafukunurwa kuna apa apo pakafunirwa pati ne 3 years pakadai so asi mutati muda kuisa camera road yakadai so um the intention is to make sure that um uh, we decongest the city and try to control uh, anomic behaviors by drivers, combi drivers and uh, private uh, owners of vehicles. We have seen that certainly sometimes we have had our, our road equipment being vandalized, um, robots being attacked and we would want to control that and make sure that uh, we restore a semblance of order within the CBD and outside of the CBD. So, uh, there are so many things around. Yes, uh, consultation is being done and uh, first and foremost I'm also a resident beside being, beside being the mayor. So we are consulting and we respect uh, citizen participation and decision making and uh, we are doing that. No, we, we are yet to quantify, but uh, um, I think looking at it, uh, looking at the cost and the benefit, I think uh, we are on the right direction. Yeah, w w when you come across uh, issues of safe delivery, and if you come across issues that, that council wants to be able to address, it doesn't mean it's not addressing other issues. In as much as we are putting cameras, we are also removing uh, outdated sewer lines, and if you go to Mfakos, Glenora, Glen Vibudiriro, uh, Tafara, Mabuku Tafara, all those areas, we are doing uh, some works there. And uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that um, uh, people tend to measure council on, on the basis and understanding of one item. You should be looking at the holistic uh, service delivery mandate and uh, seek from us to know what we are doing so that then you can reconcile the two. Yes, it's going, to, it's going to benefit people. Those who are going to be marked in town will be able to identify the person who have done it. And uh, again, will be able to realize more revenue that will plow into service delivery areas. So it's a question of identifying um, breaches on road. You know, a comb that breaches um, our traffic bylaws will be identified and penalized. And that money will be taken into the treasury and for service delivery at the end. So people are going to benefit directly and indirectly. We'll be able to control congestion. There are so many um, uh, 
congested areas precisely because of human behavior. And if we contain human behavior, then people will obviously benefit by driving freely and without any hindrance uh, in, in the CBD. There you go. Now we know what the residents of Harare think about cameras in the CBD. Do we really need them right now? Tell us what you think on our Buzzop TV social media pages and the comment section on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. Keep watching, keep following.